until it happens. Because today, we believe we have it all together. We know ourselves, or do you? And so you got to every day ask God to take this person, this individual, and ask him to reveal to you what it is you need to change. Now, changing is not easy, but let me suggest that if you don't change, there will come an opportunity for you to cross over from where you are to where you can be, and you'll never get it. So many of us in here are asking God, why can't you give me my blessing? Why can't you give me the thing I want? You're crying, you're begging, you're pleading. But the reason why God does not want to give it to you because he's worried that your identity is wrapped up in something that does not represent him. And so he knows if he blesses you and puts you on that pedestal, someone else watching will say, really? If they got that and I know their life ain't right, Maybe this God thing goes out like presents, like Santa. Who wants it? Who wants it? Tonight I want you to realize, if you want to step up and be better than you are, you got to go in the right position. 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 you got to be at the right place so God can bless you with the right stuff. But if you're not trying to get to that place, don't ask God to bless you because he won't. Let me go here and I'll close tonight. There is a, a, a football player that I enjoy watching every now and then. His name is Peyton Manning. He's a quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. Injured now, but was a quarterback. And one of his interviews blew my mind, and it's something that's applicable for us tonight. He actually said in an interview while talking to a gentleman, he said to him, he said, he said, why is it that you're so good in your pass percentage? He says, Peyton Manning, you throw the ball at such precise accuracy. He says, why is that? Well, Peyton Manning says, well, the, re the reason why I'm able to do that is because I don't throw the ball at the person. I throw the ball at where the person's supposed to be. Mm. I'll take that in for a second. Mm. We want God to bless us standing where we are. God's our quarterback, isn't he? We want that blessing. We want that blessing so we can do our touchdown dance and let everybody see our spotlight time. But the truth is, God will never throw you the ball where you are. He wants to throw you the ball of where you're supposed to be. So you want your identity to be in the right place. Your attitude to be in the right place. You're representing not just you and your parents or your lineage. You're representing God. And before he puts that blessing in your life, you got to be at the right position. Moses almost got there. But before he can step over into the promised land where we all say we want to be, Moses had to stop. Why? Because Moses had an issue with his tongue. Anger issue. But tonight I say to you, whatever your issue is, whatever my issue is, let's ask God to do the impossible and fix it tonight. There's no time like the present. And so every head is bowed and every eye is closed. Lord, this is a simple word. A simple word that says we need to make some changes in our lives. Many of us want great things to happen to us. Many of us want blessings. We want seen and unseen blessings. We want good health. We want financial assistance. We want all kinds of things. But the truth is, we need to be at the right place to receive it. And so, Lord, we ask even now, some of these things that hold us back from being who we're supposed to be, some of these issues, oh Lord, those, those eight factors that limit us. Oh God, we ask even now that you'll tear down those walls tonight. We ask, oh God, that you will even break those shackles that limit us and bind us and cage us from being the best we're supposed to be. Lord, we want to be true examples of who you are. We know that we're living in the last days and we know that we are a walking billboard. Everywhere we go, people see us and let them say the best thing about us, which is, this is a child of the King. So Lord, I ask even now, I know, I know, Lord, it's not easy for us to acknowledge that we got issues, but the quicker we acknowledge we got problems is the quicker we can acknowledge the answer that we can move forward in. 
So Lord, tonight, tonight, Lord, we give just a few moments for those that want to have a whispering moment with you. Lord, we're not worried about who's standing next to us. We're not worried about what someone may say about us. We're just saying, Lord, I know I have this issue. And I ask, oh God, even now that you'll remove it from me. Father God, we're asking for you to transform us tonight. We know nothing is impossible, for your word tells us what is impossible with man is possible with God. And so Lord, we claim victory and we claim change. Identity, we know whose we are. So help us to function under that banner. Keep us. Guide us on this journey, we pray, in Jesus' name.